Jefferson in Prince George's County police say that coverage by ABC7 helped them the, be led to the arrest of a man wanted for sexually assaulting a 12-year-old. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell brought you the information that cracked the case first here on 7. Brad's now live in Palmer Park with the update. Brad. Yeah, Leon, they made the apprehension today here at police headquarters. They're pleased about it because, as you said, they've been looking for this guy since just about exactly this time Monday evening after we aired a story with his description and someone called in and put a name to the face. A police officer spotted 20-year-old Isaiah Bogan in a car on Brooks Drive this morning. There was no mistaking the young man with the word blessed tattooed across his neck, a description we first broadcast Monday when we spoke exclusively to the mother of Bogan's alleged victim. Within minutes of when our story aired, a tipster called police with Bogan's name. He's a monster, so I plead with the public to please come forward. We're protecting the identity of the woman at her request because one week ago, her 12-year-old daughter was the victim of an alleged sexual assault. She says a man followed her onto an elevator in her apartment building. She was forced to commit a sex act. Two days later, the mother and daughter spotted that man, and the mother reacted. She actually tackled the guy. I wanted to protect my daughter, so I was very angry. The man got away, but the angry mother had the detailed description. Now, with an arrest, she, and most importantly, her daughter, can begin to heal. She's going to need some counseling, but with, with prayer and everything, we're going to be fine. Now, Bogan does have an extensive criminal history involving weapons in the District of Columbia. He was arrested right on Brooks Drive today. An alert police officer spotted him in a car. They did a traffic stop and brought him into custody tonight. He is behind bars. Palmer Park, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. All right.